In Canada, we elect others to represent us in governing the country, and we sometimes describe this system as a representative government. Canada's government has also been described as a monarchy. In a monarchy, the monarch is the source of all authority. Queen Elizabeth II is the Queen of Canada. She is represented by the Governor General. Canada's government can also be described as a parliamentary government. The Parliament consists of a Queen, who's represented by the Governor General, a Senate, whose members are appointed, and the House of Commons, whose representatives are elected by Canadian voters. The Governor General is an appointed official who represents the Queen, usually for five years. The Prime Minister recommends a candidate for this office, and the Queen appoints the person to represent her in Canada. The Governor General represents the Queen, but follows the direction and advice of the Cabinet. The Governor General entertains important foreign visitors, honours distinguished Canadians, and lends support to worthy causes and events. These duties free up the Prime Minister to concentrate on running the country. The most important role of the Governor General is that it serves as a reminder of the past. The Prime Minister is the head of the Canadian government. The Canadian Prime Minister provides leadership and direction to government. He or she is the leader of the majority party in the House of Commons and is directly elected by the people. The Prime Minister acts as the voice of the nation, directs foreign policy, serves as the leader of the governing party, and with the aid of a House leader, guides debates and discussions in the House. The Prime Minister is the most powerful person in the government. He or she chooses his or her cabinet and can also ask any one of them to resign. The cabinet is made up of approximately 30 ministers, chosen by the Prime Minister from the majority party in the House of Commons. The Cabinet is the real executive of the country. Along with the Prime Minister, the Cabinet decide the policies the government will follow, decides whether to raise or lower taxes, whether the country will be at peace or war, whether to improve airports or whether to increase old age pensions. It is responsible for all legislation and has the power to make new laws. Each province must be represented by at least one minister, Larger provinces will normally have more ministers than smaller ones. Each cabinet minister is responsible for a government department. Each minister has also a deputy minister who is a permanent head of the department. Each minister is responsible, answerable and accountable for his or her department of the House of Commons. Cabinet must belong to the majority party in the House of Commons. The Senate. The Senate is made up of 105 men and women who have specialized knowledge and long years of legal, business, or administrative experience. So, what does the Senate do? When the Fathers of Confederation agreed that Canada should have a Parliament to make our laws, they wanted to be sure everything was basically double checked, not just by one, but two houses. That's why we have the Upper House, or Senate, and the Lower House, or House of Commons. The Senate examines bills. Bills are laws that the government is thinking of creating. The Senate makes sure these bills are the best they can be, and they also study how these bills are going to affect our lives. No bill can become a law unless approved by the Senate. Hi, I'm Bill, and I'm here to show you what stages a government bill goes through to become law. First reading. The bill is introduced to the House of Commons. In the second reading, the main purpose of the bill is debated. If passed, the bill is then referred to a committee for further study. Committee. The committee members study the bill line by line. The committee may make changes. During the report stage, the committee presents its report, which may recommend that the bill be accepted or that it not be proceeded with any further. In the third reading, the House reviews the bill in its final form. Once a bill is passed its third reading in the House of Commons, the bill goes to the second house, the Senate, where it must pass through the same stages.
Royal Ascent completes the process. Bills may be given Royal Ascent in two ways, by the Governor General or his or her deputy in a formal ceremony. The Senate carefully examines each bill passed by the House of Commons and listens to individuals or groups that may be affected by the bill under review. The House of Commons. The House of Commons has 308 seats. Members of the House are elected by the people of Canada during an election. The members are elected for a five-year term unless an election is called earlier. Each member of the House represents a district of a province or territory. Members do not have to live in the district or province they represent. Member for Toronto, Danforth. Order. It is the duty of the Speaker of the House to make sure there is an orderly flow of business, proceeding and debate through the House of Commons. The Speaker is an elected Member of Parliament, but must refrain from showing any favouritism toward any one party. If there is a tie vote in the House, the Speaker may cast the deciding vote. The Speaker represents the House of Commons at official parliamentary events in Canada and abroad. The Speaker is also responsible for the organization of the House, 